Alrighty, hello there. We're back again. It's Wednesday night, the 18th of September 2019 at 9.07 p.m. here in Northeastern Ohio. And we're back on the Canon 90D, the new camera, which has great low light for video. And I've been out here for a good hour now messing around with one lens after another and one combination. I had tried putting two teleconverters onto the Tamron 18 to 400 millimeter lens so I could get further reach about 1360 millimeters but boy that didn't come out well and boy was it difficult to maneuver around try to focus and oh my gosh yes yeah, so that combo did not work for me and I don't have a 600 millimeter lens anymore so we'll have to make do with what I have and that's the best we're gonna do for Saturn we can't get it in any further so on the bottom left the brightest one there is a Saturn at our 400 millimeters. But it's really cool here that we can actually see other stars around it on a video. Now over around here, In between Jupiter and Saturn is the uh, Lagoon Nebula. Whoa! Well, that was a cool plane there at the upper right. <laughs> Looked like a pontoon boat there, didn't it? So there's the Lagoon Nebula on video. And I did get some pictures here with the Tamron lens. So we'll insert those pictures once I go in, process, and do all the good stuff with it. But once again, it's cool to actually see it on a video. Okay, and from there, we're going to head over to Jupiter. As it bounces around, trying to <laughs> watch it go back down again. It's still slewing over. See, I told you. <laughs> See, I don't have the greatest of alignments and it has a difficult time. So I have to bring it up by hand here. So what I can do in Final Cut Pro is uh, do a crop zoom to bring it in further. Could try this looks like hell but yeah it doesn't look very good but uh, <laughs> the moon planet to the bottom right of Jupiter is Callisto I is the one on the left hand side and far off on the left is Ganymede now Europa is on about the two o'clock position in front of it so we can't see from the glare it would be interesting if I can do something. I'm going to try it. Well, just to try to get a view of Jupiter and, uh, and its bands, but it's too small. I can't even focus to uh, try to get it in better. And I think if I do a crop zoom in Final Cut Pro for that, it's going to be just all pixelated and look like hell. But you know what? I'm going to try that same thing on uh, Saturn so let me do that well that's quite cool it looks like I had focus there you can actually see the rings oh, darn it sorry I have too many things juggling in my hands I have a handset for the Skywatcher mount a shutter remote 
a magnifying glass and everything else. So that's cool. At least we got to look at uh, Saturn. And come on down. Okay, and there's our night sky in northeastern Ohio. I'm not sure from being out here until I go in the house, but I might have been able to get the uh, band of the Milky Way in. And I don't know if I'll be able to bring it out in processing or not, but I'll give it a shot. If so, I'll include the picture in here. Last night I did get footage, but it was just a <laughs> bit of fun testing and there was something flying up there when I was uh, zoomed in on Jupiter with the uh, 70 to 200 lens and I tracked it flying from uh, Jupiter past Saturn then to the southeast all the way to the east until it dipped into the trees and uh, I had to check on the Sky Safari Pro app and it ended up being the ISS Deb DEB. I'd never heard of it before. And I had earlier missed the regular ISS. Well, I didn't miss it. I did see it and just forgot to hit record. <laughs> it was one of those nights. Anyway, you know what? I think I just might go get the uh, 70 to 200 since it's about the only one I haven't tried yet. So. I shall be back. Hang tight. <laughs> okay, there we are. We're back out. We have the uh, Canon 70 to 200 lens on there now. And of the brightest stars there on the left hand side of the trio, the bottom one should be Saturn. Oh boy, they made this difficult. Uh, we'll try this now. Okay, with this setup, that's as far as we can go in. Could try the same for Jupiter. And that speck of light there is Jupiter. <laughs> yeah, so that's not going to work out. Not with the lenses I have. Maybe in time we'll earn more money and be able to get a different lens and Whoops, what happened there? <laughs> All right, now I'm lost. <laughs> Let's go back out to 70 so I can see where we are. Okay. So Jupiter is uh, down there in the trees. When you're so far zoomed in, I'm, I get lost up here. Boy, look at that. Oh, that's, I was gonna say, look at that red one, but that's a airplane. <laughs> Okay, so this will probably be a mess of a... <laughs> I have so much footage to go through and... I know it's not quite as much fun since we can't zoom in as far onto the planets. I just do not feel like getting another camera out and redoing everything, so... Since I have the Canon lens on here, I want to go over to the Lagoon Nebula and see how that comes out compared to the uh, Tamron. Now the Tamron has double the reach, so still cool that we can see it. Yeah, last night was funny when I was trying to track that craft flying around. <laughs> And maybe many of you have heard of the uh, ISS Deb before, but 
boy, I sure didn't. And there wasn't a lot of information on the uh, Sky Safari Pro app, and I didn't look further into it, so. But it did take the exact same track and same time and everything else, so. Must have been it. I was kind of hoping another one would show up here, but it doesn't look like it's going to be. All right, well, it's about 20 to 10 now. The moon doesn't rise until a little bit after 10 p.m. You know, it'll probably take a good hour before it rises above the trees, so. I think that's going to do it for this uh, testing night here for me. Whoa, now there's something. 9.40 p.m., we'll have to... Uh, try to keep up with it. So I'm using the uh, handset of the tracking mount too. I'm going to have to change a rate, deck on it. Who are you up there? I guess that's an airplane there, but I don't know. <laughs> Got all kinds of things flying around up there. And I'm not used to being able to see on video satellites and all that. Because with the other cameras, it they just don't have good low light and uh, well, he keeps going down don't he he's gonna dip below that uh, garage over there I can't go in any further I mean that could do it but all right well he's gone kind of wish I'd have followed that bigger one just in case it wasn't an airplane and I'm lost again I don't know where I am like I said when you're zoomed in it's so much harder to get a grip Okay, that would be Saturn up there. I can tell by the uh, alignment of those uh, three brightest objects, uh, Saturn would be the bottom one. Sorry, I'm scouting for other flying craft. Be it an airplane, a satellite, a who knows what. Okay, that was really cool. We get to check out that flying craft together. And I will check the Sky Safari Pro app for known satellites and all that to see if it was a uh, one of them, or who knows what it was. Could be otherworldly, could be government, could be just about anything. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's now 9.45 p.m. So I'm going to wish you all a great Thursday ahead. Well, hello there. 
I'm back out again. <laughs> I wasn't too happy with the earlier footage of the planets and stars and chasing satellites and all that, so <laughs> I thought I'd come back out and and try to get the moon with the new Canon 90D and the 70 to 200 millimeter lens. And I did put the 1.4x uh, Kenko extender on there, teleconverter, and uh, that's still as far as we can go. So it's disappointing for somebody who loves to zoom in on the planets and the uh, <laughs> moon, stars, and sun, and all that. If only Canon hadn't taken away my favorite feature of the uh, in-camera digital zoom of 3x to 10x but I do love the uh, low light this camera offers so that's as far as we can zoom in there <laughs> but what I can do is uh, overexpose this and see what shows up out around it that's quite cool you can see the uh, reflection there of the moon and the purple. And guess who we have over here? Let me get it centered first. Here's the really cool Seven Sisters, the Pleiades, M45. It's up to the uh, left of the moon. I should check to see if we have a good focus, just a second. They are a beautiful sight. It's been forever and a day since I last saw them again. But with winter coming, we'll be able to get Orion and Sirius and and all the rest of them. But I have to admit, not being thrilled about <laughs> winter coming, the frigid cold, and hauling all this gear out. Oh my. It's already cooling down. It's about um, 50 degrees out right now and I'm not quite dressed for this weather, so I'm shivering already. <laughs> okay, so basically I'm not too happy with this footage either. <laughs> oh my. Well, it's gonna have to do, either I don't put one up or we'll try to piece this one together. I just hate to waste anyone's time and if I'm not happy with the footage, you know, I don't think you'll be happy with it, so. Anyway, it's almost 2 a.m. now, so we're going to call it quits. So you all take care. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday ahead. Bye for now.